really off to a little plot thing today. Uh, we're, we'll, we'll start by working the, the finish that we were working this week. And uh, not the traditional little plot thing, but just like the actual, the actual finish that I think we've been working it all week. Uh, and then I want to work some other defenses today. We'll work a couple sleeps out of this as well. This is probably my number one position that I use against uh, opponents that are heavier weight than me, right? Uh, or against uh, guys that have like a really good wrestling case and they're able to like their head down low and they're trying to tough, 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 tough the arm bar. Uh, or anytime you go up the guy, they're, they're able to pass the bar. I mean, you, had, uh, you use a whole plot to, to control somebody with good posture, right? So, with that in mind, when I'm playing the position here, I'm dominating the sleeve, I'm getting to the cross collar and the half spider here. And when I'm looking for this, I'm typically looking for the triangle first, but this guy's like already starting to posture up and I'm not gonna be able to break his posture down. So I'll keep shrimping out and then I'll do like a heavy leg here, like I'm doing a kick over sleep, right? I'm already tucking this hand into my hip pocket and then my hand is on the collar pushing away, foot is on the biceps. As I get my foot over the top here, uh, I, you know what, I guess like we'll, we'll need to work maybe a couple entries to the position. Like when I'm looking to actually finish this, guys, I'm going to use my foot, keeping it on his face, keeping my leg heavy, keeping this foot on the biceps until I can get to here. Once I get to here, now I can be heavy with that leg and stiffen it out and sit up, okay? From here, I can pinch my, my ribs to my, uh, my thigh and I can switch my hands to start going over the hip and controlling at the elbow, okay? Once I'm here, then I can get up and start looking to break him down. But there's a lot of things that we run into in this, in this type of position, and maybe even before we get there, and that's where I wanna focus our energy on today, is before I even am able to get to this, right? I'm sure uh, some of you guys have gotten here before and, and earned that position, right? And been able to break the guy down and finish him with Oma Plata, and that feels nice. But the majority of the time, for me as a smaller person, I end up running into somebody about right, Right about here, where they're good at getting posture, right? They're good at hand fighting against my feet or whatever. And what I'll typically do is I'll look to hide this foot, I'll lock it up, and I'll look to start hooking my foot underneath the, the armpit, okay? Now, if Berto is like stepping up with his outside foot here, I'll go so far as hooking the knee. This is like the old Mitch Coates special that you do to guys. And then he'll reach over and he'll like start grabbing the leg, pulling you forward. And you know, finishing the elbow plata this way while you're stretched out going that way, he's pulling your arm back this way, right? There's also, there's a few different finishes that I can do from this type of positioning, simplest being a wrist lock, right? But I can also just force the elbow plata with just a one-handed kimura. Look at the grip that I have, right? I can grab the leg as well and, and really start stretching out here and finishing. The main finish that I like to do, because I don't like being flat on my back, is I'll look to sit up and I'll start stretching back this way, okay? This is gonna put a lot of pressure on the arm here. If he is able to keep my back on the mat, you'll see, you'll see me start stretching the arm this way, okay, like a straight arm bar. because a lot of times what that'll do is that'll allow him freedom to be able to start jumping over your head. So like say if you were, yes. If you just jump over my head, you can start getting that elbow free, okay? So make sure that once you establish this, especially here, like if you have the foot, that's one thing because then you're stopping him from being able to jump over. But his legs are free right now. So the first thing I typically look to do is I look to stretch and sit up. Now I wanna like start driving down with this elbow. I'm gonna be putting a lot of pressure on the back of the shoulder here. Notice how Berto's already starting to flatten out because of it. I'm stretching my foot into the armpit or into the triceps, okay? And I wanna keep his elbow tight on my hip here. So I do that by sitting forward. If I do this, this allows him freedom in his arm 
right? And you can move it around. So try to stay as sat forward. Like if you guys notice that we did those tabletop bridges and then I sit my butt back, that's all I'm doing here. I'm going here, right? And then I can start putting the pressure on him, right? Or if I flatten him out, look guys, just release and go back to your traditional whole block finish. And that's not even talking about any of those, uh, I guess, novelty, they're like novelty submissions, right? Or if you can wrist lock a guy in that position, or if you can uh, one-handed Kimura, or if you can do the, the two-handed armbar, those are novelties, right? Let, like, let's not, let's not uh, fancy, or like, let's not uh, give those more credit than they're really due. The, the main position here is that omoplata, that shoulder lock. Uh, that triangle that I have over his shoulder. That's where the majority of the pressure is coming from to allow these little cheap, cheap submissions, you know, a wrist lock or a, a one-handed Kimura or two-handed you know, on the arm. You could grab it two-handed and go for the Kimura, but it's, it's just an awkward angle. So make sure that you guys are putting the focal point of your pressure and your focus here, right? And then everything else comes afterwards, right? So, yes, exactly, like, remember how we were doing this? Here, we lean forward, and then we were, we were doing this, right? That's exactly what I'm doing. So, like, I'm, I'm locking, I'm hooking, and then once I'm getting there, I'm, like, climbing out of the hole. I'm trying to crunch, just like I would on a normal one plus. I want to get my ribs to my thigh, right? So, I, the only way that I can do that is by, like, bringing it forward, right, while also dropping the knee down, because I want to put pressure that way. But as I sit my butt back, I want to get here, right? That puts that downward pressure on that shoulder. This stretches him out that way so he can't posture up against it, right? And then everything else is going to be, you know, maybe just a, an extra finish with your hands or sitting your hip out and getting that, getting that downward pressure on that shoulder. Everybody's shoulder is different, okay? So make sure you guys are doing this slowly, right? Applying it slowly, right? But also being firm, right? Because if you're just like, oh, I'm gonna try to be like nice and easy on this, but there's no flexion in, in your legs, then it's not gonna it's not gonna submit them. They're gonna be able to take it. Cool? You guys wanna give it a try? Let's go. You able to see that okay, Brian? See those angles on that? <laughs> 